Welcome back to the VKP8E Setup and Configuration video series. In this video, we're going to look at how to go through and set up the certificate to configure the keypad if it's not connected to the internet, but the computer you're working on is. Just like the IoT setup, you start by connecting to the IP address of your keypad. Since I'm in my local office rack, I will put in the IP address. First, I'm going to connect the keypad in local mode, and then I'm going to set the IP address to static. Now I'm going to select Open Cloud, and it will show that the keypad is disconnected. We're going to walk through the connection wizard. I'm connected to a Windows 11 laptop, so we will use the Windows certificate. Please know that the Mac certificate walkthrough is nearly the same. Next, Confirm the IP address is correct and then select Apply. This will create a URL that you can use to make a certificate. Copy the link and paste it into another tab on your browser. This will initiate the download of the certificate. You may have to tell the browser to trust the download. Select Keep if you're in Chrome. Now you'll follow the wizard, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to walk through everything step by step. I'm going to select Next and say that I have downloaded the certificate. I'm going to choose Windows for my operating system. You can follow along with the web UI to get your certificate connected to your laptop. Now, the next part of the wizard has me open a command prompt and type MMC and enter. This opens the Microsoft Management Console. Under the File tab, select Add Remove Snap-In. On the left side, select Certificates, select Add to put the snap-ins, and a pop-up will come up where you can select the computer account, and this will work with any user on the computer. Now select Next. Leave the local computer selected, and select Finish. Now, select OK on the Snap-In pop-up page. On the left side, select the certificate and it will open up your choices. Select Trusted Root Certification Authorities and right-click. Then select All Tasks and Import. The Import Wizard will open and will select Next. And then locate the certificate file. Select Next again. Leave the location alone and select Next. Finally, select Finish. Now we're going to close our console. You might be asked to save this. Just save it in the default location. Now I'm going to go through the wizard that I just did physically, and I'm going to get to the point where I test the connection. Realize this could take up to three to five minutes for the connection to be made. If you close your browser and open it back up again, usually this will force the connection. Now that I'm connected to the internet through my computer, I can make changes through the cloud and then apply them directly to the keypad. You can see by the variables that I'm connected directly to my system, but the keypad and my system are on an isolated AV network. In the next group of videos, we're going to show you how to connect the keypad's web server, which is called local mode. With local mode, you can upload the configuration file, upload firmware, and more. We're also going to add the keypad as a supplemental keypad interface to a larger velocity system.